right, so today we have the Hubson H109S Professional. Uh, the Professional is the three axis gimbal with the H7000 transmitter. Uh, this is an Android based transmitter. And uh, I've updated the firmware on the FC, the RX, and the TX. And uh, I'm going to do another one, so I just wanted to go ahead and make a video and show everybody how to update the firmware on the H109S. Um, no matter which one you have, uh, even if you have a different transmitter, it's all pretty, pretty much the same. <clears throat> and uh, if you have, say, an H501S, SS, or A, or C, or M, um, same type of situation um, when you're updating the firmware. So, uh, if you've updated a 501, um, this is all going to be very familiar to you. If not, you're going to hopefully learn something and uh, not mess up the process. It's very simple to do the firmware for the FC, the RX, the TX. The RX is probably the hardest of all, um, which really isn't hard, but out of the three, it would be the more difficult. Uh, it just entails a little bit more. And... Um, these are easily messed up because for different 501 models or different 109 models, you have different firmware uh, based on different hardware usually. And in this case, the 50 or the 109S has a compass. My compass is the front left landing gear right here. And uh, for that, it requires a different firmware. And then depending on where this compass is located, it's located in, other, in two other areas of the feet, uh, landing gear. Um, depending on that, you're going to have different firmware. So that's one thing you really want to look for before doing an update. So in my case, we have it in the front left. And my FC currently right now, the most uh, current update would be FC 1125 and RX 1125. Um, that's another area where you can mess up. You got to pay attention to the file name where it says FC or RX uh, because both of them have the same um, uh, number 1125. And for the transmitter, I believe it is, I don't, I think it's 42, uh, 428. Um, sorry, 218. Um, that is the current firmware for the transmitter. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, like I said, this one's already done. We'll get started on the other one and uh, update the firmware on that. Uh, that's this one over here. Move the coffee cup out of the way. That's that one right there. Same thing, uh, three axis gimbal, H7000 TX, and uh, compass location is in the same place. So it's the same firmware as the update I just did on the other one. And first thing we're gonna update is the FC. And when you do your update, uh, please charge your batteries. Have a good battery in your TX, fresh battery charged in your quad. Go ahead and have that in there and ready. And the other thing you'll need is the USB, um, the little micro USB cable. This comes with your quad. Um, if not, they're pretty common, so you just need to grab yourself one of these. This, For the 109, this is the only cable you'll need for uh, all your upgrades or updates. So first we're going to do the FC. And when you do the FC, you hook the cable into the side of the quad and then you'll hear it beep on the computer and once that's hooked up you don't need to hook up your battery or anything I recommend you do this with the props not on so don't follow my example and have the props on uh, anything you're doing with the with it inside um, or you're going to be powering up the TX or anything I recommend you take the props off. Also, uh, prior to an update, um, hopefully you've bound the quad and the transmitter um, prior. So you, you want to make sure that they've been bound and uh, are communicating together. 
All right, so first we're gonna update the FC and I'm gonna move over to the computer now and we're going to open up the FC file and we have uh, two tools that are available for the H109S. I'm using uh, the upgrade tool version three and for that I'm gonna right click it and I'm going to run as administrator And then click yes. All right, now the tool's going to open, and you want to make sure it says in the bottom left hand corner that it's connected. So, right here it says it's connected, and we're going to open the file, which means go and get the file. And here it is uh, FC1125. Always make sure it says FC or RX, whatever one you're doing the update on. So, we're updating the FC, we're going to select FC1125 and it places it right here. So now we just click upgrade and you'll watch it count. And we're at 100% and then there it will now disconnect and reconnect. So you want to wait for that. Now it's connected. Now after it's unconnected and reconnected you can click show version and there you have it FC1125 so that's all you need to do to install the firmware on the FC now let's go to the RX and we're going to unhook the cable I'm going to turn it around so we have access to the battery and notice I have the gimbal unplugged um, I always leave that unplugged when I'm not flying that way when I first start up and do my calibrations and I'm turning it and spinning the quad, it's not trying to fight with the motor. I don't hook my battery up on the gimbal until after I've done my calibration. So any other time, updates or anything like that, I leave that unplugged. All right, now for the RX, uh, we're, we have to do that through the TX. So that's why I say, you want to make sure that you bound the two at some point. So for that, you have in the top of your controller, you have your ports. Remove the cover and hopefully you can see right here the ports. You want this left port. So we're going to plug into the left port on top of the controller. Same cord plugged into my computer. Okay. So now we're hooked up there. And to start the RX update, you're going to take your right stick and hold it to the bottom left hand corner. At the same time, press start and power. Upgrade RX mode version 2 is what you get on the screen and your power button turns red. So now we're going to update the RX. So go back to the computer and we want to go to the RX folder. And we're using upgrade tool version 2. I'm going to right click that, run it as administrator, click yes and connect all right so it says found upgrade tool we're connected now it's telling us to power on the rx so what that means is you're going to power on your quad by plugging in the computer i'm sorry by plugging in the battery so plug in the battery and wait for the beep Okay, we got the beep and we have one leg lit up blue during the update. And now it says here to upgrade RX mode, select file and down, which means download. So I'm going to go back to the computer and select my file. And we're selecting RX1125 and clicking upgrade. 
Now this will probably fail because I've taken time to sit here and explain it and it'll probably time out. Uh, if you take a long time doing this whole process of what I just showed you here on the RX, um, it can time out. You want to do it in a reasonable amount of time. Looks like it might go through. Upgrade success. All right. So we uh, successfully upgraded that. And all you have to do from there is just go ahead and close out on the computer. And we're going to power off here. Now it's going to try to start up on the screen. We'll wait for that. So now after doing that, we can, I'm going to set this down. We can unhook the battery on the quad. It's tight. So now we're unhooked on the battery there. Turn this off. Okay, so now we're going to do the TX and I'm going to go ahead and get it ready on the computer and go to TX, upgrade tool, right click, run as administrator yes and then we're ready so again hook the cable up in the same location on the left hand port and this time we're going to pull the right stick to the bottom right corner not the left corner we're going to hit start and power at the same time This happens from time to time with this transmitter. Now it's asking us to bind to plane. Um, we don't need to bind to the plane, but it's gonna do this every time. So what you have to do is you have to unhook the battery and then hook it back up. And next time we do it, it'll, it'll work. So if you're ever trying to upgrade your TX, man, that thing's tight. If you're ever trying to upgrade your TX and you put your stick in the bottom right-hand corner and uh, do the sequence properly and it goes to bind, then you need to unplug the battery. Um, at least that's the way I found to get through it. I don't know why it does that. I guess it's just a glitch that... Uh, they have with the firmware or something, I don't know. Whenever you're recording, there's never anything simple. It just always gives you a hard time. All right, so let's try it again. We have our cable connected. We're going to put the stick in the bottom right-hand corner. Press start and power at the same time. There we go. Now it worked. So all I did was unhook the battery, and uh, as you see, it's in update mode. You get nothing on the screen. You just get the red flashing light. So now we're going to go to the computer, click Connect. It found the upgrade tool. Now we're going to open the file, and we want the TX. And it's TX version 218. And click Upgrade. Now you see the light has gone solid red, and when we're done, it's going to ask us to calibrate the sticks. So now we are doing mode 2 for this controller. To calibrate the sticks, you want to move them left and right, up and down, and in circular motion. So we're going to go left, right. It's fine that that's starting up. Up, down. in a circular motion. After you do that, take one of the trim buttons here, long press it up or down, and we're done. 
so it's all bound it's uh, updated or I'm sorry it's calibrated updated and now we're just going to do all our calibrations which I'm going to do in another video um, I'm going to do the uh, horizontal and rotational calibrations also known as the IMU calibration and um, show you how to do stick calibrations and uh, I guess I'll probably go over the compass calibrations as well but uh, let's see our firmware here to do that you want to hold your left stick down power or start at the same time and it takes you into the menu we're gonna to go to show versions click start and there it shows us all our versions so we have 218 for the TX and for the FC 1125 and RX 1125 so we did a successful firmware update on that and uh, after this, I'm going to do a separate video showing you the different calibrations that you should do after a uh, update. Um, we've already done the stick calibrations, but I'll go through that again in the next video along with the uh, um, rotational and horizontal calibrations, uh, also IMU calibration. And uh, we'll go through that and uh, show you how to properly do that. Those are very important calibrations. Um, if your quad is not flying really well, it's, it's drifting off to left or right or pitching forward or backwards. It's not following your stick commands really good. Um, it's usually an IMU calibration, so I'll show you how to do all that in the next video. All right, so hopefully uh, this was helpful to you. And uh, you see it's very quick and simple actually, so if done right, um, you'll have less headache and be able to enjoy flying your quad and not worry about messing it up with firmware updates. Again, very important, use the correct firmware. Do your homework, research what firmware goes with the model that you have. And like I said, in the H109S, it's all based on compass location. Um, so you need to know where your compass is located and do your research as to what firmware is supposed to go with your quad based on that location. And that's it.